Hey there, everybody. I wanna welcome you to another edition of Morning Manna. We're on our fifth day of taking a look at the life of Samuel, learning lessons from the life of Samuel. And we're getting a little bit deeper into Samuel's life, a little, quite a bit deeper into Samuel's life. This is more toward the end, but I think Samuel uh, shows us something so, so powerful. And so when Samuel is kind of toward the end of his judgeship, he kind of sets his sons up as judges. We'll talk about more about this tomorrow. But ultimately, the people ask for a king. And so Samuel goes to God, hey, what do I do? And God says, give him a king. So he goes, okay. And God speaks to him about the king. And you could read about that in 1 Samuel 9. Samuel looks for and finds Saul, and Saul looked like a king. If you go read in 1 Samuel 9, you see that. Just his appearance, his handsome, he's taller than everybody else. Everybody would look at him and go, wow, okay, that dude is a king. So when Saul is rejected by God and it's time for Samuel to anoint a new king, he goes looking for a king like Saul was. You can read about this in 1 Samuel 16. And so he goes to the house of Jesse and he, go, he knows that the king will be among Jesse's sons. And he looks at the oldest son, his name is Eliab. And Eliab looked like a king. So Samuel says in his heart, surely this is the guy. And then God says, no, don't look on his outside. Don't look at his appearance because I have seen him and I have rejected him. David is actually the one that God chose. And so Samuel anoints the right king. But that points something out that's true for all of us. It was true for Samuel and it's true for you and me too. We tend to expect to God, sh God to show up today the same way we've seen in the past. But God doesn't have to respond today in the same manner that he showed up in yesterday. So the question is, can we find God where he is, not just where we expect him? And Samuel is able to do that. He misses it at first, but he finds God. So for all of us, when we're looking for God, when we see God move, let's not just look for where God has been before. Let's look for his voice. Let's listen for him. Let's see him, find him, even when he shows up in ways we did not expect. God bless you, Manager. church.